all right guys and i'm back for part two of possibly three parts of this entire recording session of the post commentary yeah this whole project has gone on for like about maybe a week and a half two weeks tops okay i have not posted yet the video that i made the first time of the first post commentary and I will tell you why, okay? First of all, school, school, school. Probably by the time that I upload this video, school already would have been done. I mean, it's not done yet. I still have two more classes left to attend. Well, two class days. And pretty much one of my classes is over. So is the other one. So that means two more. Okay, so yeah, I only have two more days to attend classes. Since my all my Tuesday, Thursday classes are not they're gone now, which uh, we canceled the last, what is it, four meetings of class because we finished early, but there are the other two classes that I need Monday and Wednesday, and then after Wednesday, class is, is, is over, like, class is done, and I can finally rest, I think I have a final, I have one more final left, and that is on, actually the details are on the portal with, I don't talk about school anyway, I hate talking about school. Alright, so, let's see some of the things that we're, we finished doing in this game. I don't remember anything, I'm trying to adjust the volume so that way the mic doesn't pick it up. Because I'm just commenting on things that are happening. I don't want to talk about, you know, what's going on right here and then, and down there, and then around and around of here and around. But yeah, I'm not going to talk about that sort of stuff. I want to talk about different things. I mean, I'll comment every now and again, sort of like last time. Honestly, I don't remember a lot about what I was talking about last time. I went on a rant about complaining and stuff like that, and how I should be more of a douche to people, since, honestly, I think I'm being too nice to everyone. Did I mention that in this particular recording session, I fell asleep like six or so times, something like that? I might. I, I, I know I should have mentioned that before. I couldn't have not mentioned that during the first recorded session. So yeah, it, it, I'm telling you man, it's like almost like a four hour entire recording thing. So I, I, I really have to dissect this and take the time out to really record over these. It's a responsibility that I have. I can't just upload this blank, you know, without commentary. I could have done that, but I chose not to because I'm a man of commitment and delicacy and skill, even though it has you know, no no place in this entire discussion, and of course, man of honor. <laughs> I also like to you know give you guys some worth of quality, something worth watching. You know what I'm saying? It can't just be nothing but blanks. It can't be just a walkthrough. I mean, I could have it as a walkthrough if I wanted to, but I don't want to have it as a walkthrough. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, that's, a, that's another word that I say. I like to say it anyway. I do like to say it. It's a cool word, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a really nice word. I like to say it a lot. And you're gonna hear me say it a lot if I do post-commentary. Well, you'll hear me say it even if I don't do post, so it doesn't matter. Let's see, how, much, how many hours do we have left? We have... Do, 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 do. How much did I cut out? I cut out a whole bunch last time. I cut out like maybe 30 minutes worth of stuff. Let's see how much I have left. And this entire block here is an hour and something. An hour and 40 minutes, I believe. So we'll see how much I can cut out of this. I want to make this either two or three total parts. I know that one part, I'm going to apologize to you guys right now. Okay the videos I don't know why I'm doing this now because seriously the videos are already already done and over with I'll probably make a tweet about it you know I should make it I can I can literally do a tweet about it right now you guys could watch not really watch you guys can listen to me tweet you know but I'm not gonna do that because this is professional you know what I'm saying if I'm gonna be getting paid to make these videos you know, the world is changing you know that's something I have to accept I have to accept that let's play is changing, gaming in general is changing. It's now become very competitive and more of a business. You know? And sometimes you gotta capitalize on that. 
I don't like doing it though. I like to play games just to play games. But I need to pay bills too. So now I need to find some kind of medium. Let's see here. Maybe I could say, since I enjoy playing these games, I wouldn't mind getting paid for it. Let's put it like that, because anything else, I'll get very, very angry. Oh man. You know, this is probably the, the hardest part of doing posts. Just, I didn't even explain what it was, but, okay, the hardest part of doing posts is not the commentary. You know what it is? It's editing. Because, now I figured when I was editing the first part, okay, you know, I, there's a part where I was like, okay, I'm gonna edit this part out, and then I keep on talking. But man, I didn't know. I, I, since I don't do posts, I'm not sure when I'm supposed to edit something out like that and then put in the other commentary. Cause then, you know, something that back, back in my head told me like hmm, maybe I should pause when I do the edits. So that way there's a time there where I know that there's no commentary said. That way it'd be easy for me to split the time. Because when I saw that the previous video had the split time for a video when I actually made the edits for when I fell asleep and whatnot, the commentary was still going. You know, it was an ongoing commentary. So I was like, wait a minute. So I already made the split. So where the heck do I fit the commentary? Oh, that guy got caught sick. You see, like if I said something like this, like that guy got sick, and I had already cut out some some uh, footage from before, you know, then this part that I'm talking about now would probably be in some other battle. So you know what I'm saying? That's like very difficult because luckily I haven't cut out anything here yet. But it's 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 stupid, and especially because you know it's kind of disorienting, and there might have been great commentary from before. Like I might have been talking about something really funny. And well, it's gone now. There's no way I can fit it in somewhere because I'm already talking about this next subject, and I can't really just introduce that. I can't fast forward it. I can't put it somewhere. It just oh, this guy left. You see what I'm saying? Like if I had said some kind of funny anecdotal thing a while back, and then this little sequence comes up where I fight the mecha, the mecha, whatever you call it, and then I put in that part of the commentary. But I had split in the, the 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 other part of the commentary because I had to cut out the video part with the footage that might have had something like I was asleep or I took a long time at the menu or something like that. Then that kind of messes up the commentary, kind of messes up the flow of the video, so stuff like that I don't need to keep in mind of. So it's it's sort of like strange, you know, like I don't know how to explain it. I think I've explained it pretty well, honestly. You guys aren't stupid. You guys aren't fourth graders. You'll understand what the heck I'm talking about. At least, I hope you do. I'm sure some of you people who do video editing or commentary will understand what I'm saying. I have a hard time explaining things. Some of you already know that. I'm not very good at explaining things. Yet, I make a good teacher anyway. Which is funny. You know, I say that I use the excuse. I'm not a good teacher, you know, because I, I don't know how to explain things. But when it comes to something like someone needs to learn, Okay, see, this part needs to get cut out. Alright, so, now we're back. <laughs> it's, it's, I have to do that. I have to do this. So you see, now I'm learning. This is why I need to do more posts, because then I can learn these little tricks. What do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe I should do a post video or something. <laughs> no, that part is not a good idea. But, you know, I need to get familiar with these styles, you know? So that's what I was thinking. Maybe... I should dedicate one last place to just doing post commentary. What do you guys think? It'll give me more time to. Honestly, I think post commentary might be a little bit more stressful since it requires more time, of course. And then, you know, I don't keep scripts. That's not me. You know, I'm a spontaneous, impromptu kind of person. You know, that's how I work best. I don't like the added pressure of having to come up with a script trying to make you guys laugh. I can make you guys laugh plenty, just not thinking of anything. You know. Nothing scripted, you know, something that comes fresh from the mind, because then that's what sponta spontaneity is all about. It's freshness and aloofness. That's kind of like my thing, you know, and me really not fixing this camera is bothering me, man. I mean, wow. I think I know why, because I was so tired, I didn't really care. I was just like, let me just get to the save point and save. I forget how many floors were in this. I think there was a total of like 24 floors? Place your best, 24 floors. 
You might be thinking, oh, you already know, you've done this dungeon, but hey, you know what? This dungeon was done like a month and a half ago, okay? A month and a half ago, I hadn't even posted this thing yet, okay? And then, not only that, but my memory sucks. You could be saying, oh, you're just using that excuse because blah, 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 but I'm, this is legit. This is legit. I have terrible memory from my mom's side of the family. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's terrible. Like, it's, it's actually, it eats up my brain, man. Uh, excuse that, that's some static from the speakers. Because of the weak-ass electrical wiring here in this apartment complex. Not to excuse it. And whoa! It's 7 in the morning. I st officially stayed up the entire day. Let me turn off my lights since I don't want to use up electricity. So I didn't even know it was light outside. It was bright outside, right? The sun's rising. Beautiful trees are here with the birds chirping. Even though you don't hear them chirping, I know they're chirping. I definitely know they're chirping. They in there, feeding their little birdies, giving them worms. Man, if I was a bird, yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad I'm not a bird, man. <laughs> uh, some people uh, edit. Oh my god. Jeez, man, I was. How long was that? That was like 40 freaking minutes, man. Holy cow. I really passed out. That's like half of the entire video right there. Jeez, I kept skipping like, man, am I ever gonna move? <laughs> and lo and behold, I finally moved. Like, <laughs> somebody said, and you shall have like, oh, I was close. I was close, man. I'm constantly astounded by these close calls. Should I slow that down? Should I slow it down for the viewers? You see, now that I said that, you know, back to that topic. Now that I said that, if I slow it down, my character is going to be a little bit ahead. So maybe I should stay silent like, right now. Now get in this little piece somewhere along the line. And then I'm make another moment of silence like right here. So that I can fit in right here at this point to be continued right there at this point. Alright, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that in the editing. But, I, oh, this is an experimentation. So I'm not even sure how this is going to work until I freaking edit it. Ooh, I see that nice alarm trap. Don't you dare step on that, son. Don't you dare. Damn, what the heck did I get? The digital... <gasps> Whoa, excuse me, the hiccups. I got the hiccup hips. The uh, digital wristwatch. Legit. Since I hiccuped. I automatically could not read what is said there. Okay. Oh, that guy's a bastard. <laughs> I saw that one coming from a mile away. Only because I've done this part. Oh, boy. Well, we gotta watch these battles because I told you guys that I was gonna do this. Now, even after we do this dungeon, okay? I'm not gonna tell you who the boss is, of course. I've already talked about this boss several times during the actual Let's Play. Actually, I will tell you who it is. It's actually Monograptus, and I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. Probably one of the most amazing bosses I think I've ever fought in my entire life. It's like there was some kind of weird ritualization going on in my head when I finally beat the boss, and when I even encountered it the first time. You have to understand, I was a child playing this game. An unknown game, one of the first times I ever played an RPG. Okay, like, I played them before, but this was like a real... Here's what I consider... I don't know, when I was like 10, 11, that's when I really thought of myself as a timeless in person. You know, someone who understood, more or less, the abstracts and the and different concepts of all types of media, pretty much. When I was that age, I mean, I was I was a pretty intelligent young man when I was younger. I was pretty wise and all that, but not until I reached that age that I really considered myself cognizant. So, any time before that, it's like things I can't really remember, like games I barely remember. But I definitely have memories of me playing this game when I was 11. I come back home from school, making meals, cleaning the house. After all that's done, I finish the homework by 5:30 p.m. Remember those days. And my mom used to come back from, uh, from, from freaking, uh, what is it, the 
her job. I can't remember the name of that. I am a little tired. I've stayed up for like 26 hours now. But yeah, she came back from her job. But before she would come back from her job, I would play like maybe sneaking 30, 45 minutes of evolution in there. And the messed up part is that before, I used to play this in my mom's room because she had the television there. And yeah, this is kind of funny. Like back then, it might not be PG commentary right now, but yeah, back then I remember uh, that my mom bought for whatever reason the X-rated channel. So I was I used to check that out out of curiosity. It was called a Spice Channel or something. It was on Channel 59. I definitely remember stuff like that. I remember checking that out, and that's like the first time I ever saw sex. And well, I did walk in with my parents once back when they were still together. But, yeah, it was crazy, man. Reading Spice Channel, and then I'll, I'll never forget it. That's what really got me into women, man. I was like, I was like, yo, what is this channel? But then, I, you know, eventually I discovered evolution. I just never, never knew what to do with that. I always wanted to ask my mom, but for some reason, that, you know, there's that sixth sense or whatever. Like, mm, this is not something that's appropriate to discuss. And I knew that when I was a kid, like, it's weird how kids learn. Like, I was a child, and I somehow knew that. And now, I'm, and now that I'm an adult, I think back and I was like, what the heck, like, this couldn't have possibly, like, that's weird just how things develop, you know? So then, eventually I stopped watching that channel, because someone told me, yo, stop watching this, it's not, this is weird. So I stopped watching that, and then I picked up Evolution. So I used to play in my mom's room, right? And after I used to play in my mom's room, right? There was, I don't know, some kind of arrangement happened where she moved all, I don't know, she always does the women, you know, the house arranges all the time. Like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I don't know why they use that saying broke. You know, if it's not broke, it should be if, it's, if it isn't broken, but I've heard broke, so I'm not sure if they're giving me that I got it wrong, but that's the way I've heard it. So anyway, I'm just saying, like, the, if the room was perfect the way it was before, I had my Dreamcast there with my... Sonic Adventure games and my evolution and and the cable box of me randomly flipping through channels and finding this really dirty channel there but everything was perfect you know I had all the things set up I had my game set up and then eventually she moved on one of the older televisions that we got from one of my grandma's I think my father's side grandma gave me a television for one of my birthdays it was like this really old one that they won't use it anymore. I was like, sick present. Ah, oh, I missed that guy. Sucks. I'm not gonna go back for him. But anyway, so I got the Evolution games. Um, every, all my games pretty much on the the newer television, that I, the older newer television that I received. And that was like right in the living room. But it was the, it was a, it was living room A because we had two living rooms. And, well, she kind of my mom kind of make it made it into a living room A and B. So it was living room A, living room B. Some people that visited my old house, the really, really old one, back in 30 West, they probably they probably know what I'm talking about with the living room A and living room B. Uh, living room B had like some boombox and some stereo, some nonsense. She had some blasted music every time she freaking threw a party. It was annoying. You know, Spanish people. I, I swear I'm not related to them. I'm not nothing like a Spanish person. Anyway, so she would have the living room B to do blah 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 and then living room A is where she kept her television with pretty much my television <laughs> so that was I had a television all to myself you know, so and I didn't get like brother and sister until like it was like nine I think or eight or nine I don't remember I don't feel like doing math too tired to do it so anyway my brother and sister used to be in the babysitter's house before and even though I used to take care of my brother and sister after a while, you know, like, next year, it's when I would start taking care of them, formally, me being a babysit babysitter at 12, and taking care of them myself, and getting money from my mom because of that, that was pretty much my allowance, is taking care of my savings, and whenever my mom actually got home, but there's, my mom actually yeah, went to go pick up the babysitter, uh, Pick up, the, pick up the children from the babysitter, or, or not, she, she would send me. So usually I would gamble, because it would take like an extra 15 minutes for her to go upstairs to the fourth floor, and then have a conversation with women, and then come back down with the children, and then, because I was not allowed to play during the weekdays, you know, and it was only when I was like 
between the ages of 11 to like 14 that's that I started playing secretly. I never played afterwards. I really focused on my studies and all that. But when I was that age, I used to play a lot of Evolution. And this is the longest story in the world. Please forgive me. But I used to play that game. And I used to like do old. Man, I, don't, I don't even. I can't even describe the feeling I had when I first played this. Uh, no one was around the house. I was all alone. And I experienced all these great emotions. No one to ruin it. My mom not here to ruin it with her music. You know, my father never around, so I didn't have to worry about crap. Games took care of me. I, I took care of myself. I didn't need anything else. I didn't have any siblings to annoy me. I didn't have any babysitter to freaking tell me what to do. I was pretty much living my own life. The everything I did, I did alone. And it, I also experienced games alone, which is the, the way I, that. Now that I think about it, it's the perfect way. Like I'm glad I experienced everything alone. You know, nothing was interrupted. It was a great time all throughout. These guys are really dangerous. I don't even know why I picked to fight with these guys. Kind of zone out there from a while even I was fighting them. Thinking too much of the past. And I am a little bit tired. It, was, it wasn't like before. I was more observant. It was. I mean, right now it's just. I can barely open my eyes. You know, like that feeling you get when you're so incredibly tired that there's stuff in your eyes like you, you try to search around a rub but there's like nothing there just you're tired there's literally like just a, a foam of white in your vision that you can't see and no matter how much you rub or wash your eye or whatever it just doesn't come out yeah that's that's the state I'm in right now like I can barely see I, I think I saw 1087 I'm not exactly sure what that damage was but that's the sort of state that I'm at, so sorry if I missed some details. I mean, you guys have eyes too. I mean, I'm not gonna pamper you. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what something is unless it's necessary. So yeah, yeah. all I know is that those what are those like mammoths or something? I'm not even, don't remember what uh, buffalo, right? Yeah, they're buffalo enemies. You might not want to fight them at, you know, when you're like the stronger you get, of course, during the dungeon, the more powerful these enemies become. Like, if you fought them when you had re-entered or something, or didn't fight a lot of the enemies at all, then it would be fine, because you'd be fresh of health, you wouldn't have leveled up that much, everyone would be not as powerful as they should be. The enemies also, like, the same thing applies to the enemies. And these enemies are, are freaking annoying. What was I saying? Yeah, so I was playing Evolution when I was a child. And these memories never faded, you know, they always stayed with me, probably always will. Like the first real RPG I've ever played, like, it's just this one, I mean, I'm not played Legend of Dragoon, but I barely remember that, you know, it's like, those games are games I don't remember. This is like the real RPG I, I truly remember playing. This and Dragon Quest IV were like some of the real RPGs I've ever played. This one, I have such fond memories. I remember the time when I first entered this dungeon, the the fire, the fireplace. This is the fireplace, right? Wait, is this the fire? This is start as the fire. I, I I don't remember. No 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 it doesn't. But I do remember the fire one, and that boss with the Panam Ahitori. That was an awesome boss. I don't even forget that one. Uh, Shade Disc is actually the least memorable boss for me, which is funny. But anyway, this dungeon is the one I remember the most. Because it's, as you guys can tell, it's nothing like the other ones. Like, you were in freaking outer space or something. It, it's like metaphysical. It, it's strange, man. We're like at a quadrant of a galaxy or something. Like, we're in. This, if anyone's played Star Ocean 3, you know, never mind. Let me stop right there. Spoiler territory, heavy spoiler, so let me stop there. But yeah, we're we're in like some outer space region. And it's beautiful here. The music is it's it's a lullaby, puts one to sleep. And it's just like the way I think of I remember thinking about this when I was a child. I wouldn't dare think about something like that at this age. That's like the least thing, the least the thought that would least cross my mind at this current age of 23 see but back then I used to think of these stars like I would stay still for a while and try to count the stars on the street on, on the screen 
and I would think of t like stories, tales of each star and how they ended up. I remember I made a, an entire family, like one little region, I made a family of people that died in the war or something. I don't remember how it goes, but people, they died in the war, they were f fighting for like a thousand years, and the moon, there's something with a moon, and the moon spilled blood out of its mouth, and then the blood, it ran off over, it ran off over the, the area, the battlefield or whatever, and it sort of created the world's first waterfall, as I called it. And because the blood was red, and the whatever color of the battlefield it was, it mixed together and created water. And that water is what we drink today, or whatever. And then, I don't know, I used to think of weird stuff, and I think God, that guy didn't catch me. <laughs> but I want that chest. Yeah, so the, the, the water was because of the mixture of the blood and some other color and some other substance yeah and it's strange it's always it, it, you know usually that thing comes up a lot in my dreams you know that's probably where I get most of those stories in my dreams but there are some there are some weird stories I'm trying to remember this one story that I came up with I was in okay it's not here but I'm sure let me see how much more of this video I have left oh my god Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> it's not here, but it's it's definitely somewhere near, or I'm thinking uh, that somewhere near, I think it's the 20, 23rd and then 24th floor, I believe, so we'll get there eventually, but I remember thinking, I, I okay, I can't explain that feeling, you know what, that feel. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's I, if I could really ooh, go behind. Smart move. If I could really put this into uh, an expression and emotion. Damn! How do I do that? I'm trying desperately. Like, I, I might have lost for words. I remember the feeling, but I don't know what it is. And conveying that, it's just there's no there's no words. There are no words for this feeling. It's like a new emotion. If there was ever a new emotion, it'd be this. An emotion that's not known to mankind. Or at least that mankind doesn't know about. But you experience when you're only a child. Because I've never experienced it ever since then. Never. You know, it's during those times that I experienced it. I'm trying to remember how it was called. Ooh! Defense booster plus 60, that might come in handy. I'm not gonna equip it, of course, because I'm a buffoon. Um, I rely more on attack than defense, even though defense is good. It really is, but... I need to go places, you know, so that's why I need attack in place of defense. It doesn't matter how much defense I have, the enemies always pile up on you, so you need as much attack as you can. Like I said, of course, defense helps, but it's just not not worth it in my opinion compared to the attack department of course that should be the, sec the second priority you know defense for characters like mag and, and chain because mag and chain are heavy attack and defense users it's kind of like a shame because characters like linear and and pepper are more oriented towards uh, what is it the evasion department and accuracy and agility so it's, it's kind of strange that only these two characters, like Mag and Chain, are more attack and defense oriented. Like Gray is well rounded. He's like the well rounded character. I would say Pepper is too, but she's more accuracy based and she has a cannon, of course. She has cannon parts or whatever you call them. And so, yes, it's just. It's kind of like a shame, I thought, because. Why can't we have the option to make la uh, lag, <laughs> mag an accurate defensive guy, or an accurate speedy type, or even an agile speedy type, evasive, you know, something like that. That would be cool, all these different mixtures, but no, it's mainly attack and defense for mag and chain, both of them. Chain is more defense based. You know, she's not as strong as Mag is, but she can do more damage to him because of her counters. And that's sort of like 
this is something I used to use from one of my parties. It's I had a combo with her counters, and I think it. Oh my God! What a mess of enemies. But yeah, it was something with her counter and one of either linears or chains moves with that lowers opponent's uh, stats. It's attribute to that, so it was pretty cool. And I had my favorite combos definitely, even though it took up the most MP. Oh, an adult book. What are we looking at porno magazines? What are we looking at that hentai daojin? I'm not sure how it's said, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a dull book. That's kind of funny, actually. You know, I didn't know about that when I was a kid. I was like, what the heck's an adult book? I, you know, I probably would, would have... I don't know if I remember my thoughts, but it probably would have something to do with, like, uh, lawyer books or, you know, those really thick law books. Business books, stuff like that. That's probably what I would have thought of. Like, what the heck's an adult book, you know? <laughs> like, I'm surprised if a kid... I would be surprised if a kid knew what an adult book was. What it is. I'm sorry, I can't speak to it. I'm tired, man. I, need, I, need, I definitely need to sleep. That's a definite. That's a given. No one can contest that. It's hands down. I need sleep. I need to rest. I need to refuel my mind. And imagine hey, sometimes. So that I can be able to function normally again. What was I up to? That, right, that raw emotion of... Can't even explain it. Would it be cliche to say that the emotion was a combination of all emotions in one? Probably would be. But yeah, I don't think that was it either. It wasn't a combination of every emotion. It was a combination of some, but it was also... There was another... It, it's some kind of flair to it. Like, I'm not sure how to explain it. You'll see. Like, I'm almost as tempted to not comment at all during that part, so you can see what I'm talking about. With This music was really the perfect choice for this dungeon, I thought. And I still do think that it's perfect. There's nothing that I could add to it that will make this better. And then we got a broken side frame. Get a broken side frame. There's nothing that could be done to this part of the dungeon. What? Please think about what you're going to say. I mean, I'm trying to think about it. It just doesn't come. When, when, you're, when you're at your wit's end, man. Oh my god, you better move. This guy is coming after you, son. Oh, it's a good thing I moved there. I must have been still awake during that part, or forced awake because of that. I, I, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I was like, oh my god, move! I remember that something it was you know you're in that hypnagogic state and I mean I was there and another adult book and I want some more yeah I want volume two of uh, Jugs on a rug or so I don't know <laughs> feeling great linear okay anyway yeah so I was in that hypnagogic state where you're in that period of rousal rousalness and, uh, and drowsiness. So, I didn't know what the heck was going on. You know, you feel like everything's a dream. You feel like life's a dream, like you're not alive. Oh, these, this fat polar bear from Coca Cola is about to get smirked. Anyway, <laughs> freaking. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm afraid. I am afraid. I'm not even playing, but I'm afraid of this little setup right here. Oh god. I should have probably. I think I'm, I agree with this choice actually. Anyway, I love the little shards that come out. It's awesome. Very. Yeah, good, good choice. So, let me, let me continue. Oh, yes, yeah, so I was in that drowsy state. And I was like, oh, something, you know, something always snaps you back to reality. Like, you know, I never, I can't. One of these days, as a psychologist, I'm going to figure out all these freaking things that I don't understand about life and the subconscious and humanity in general. What is it that we need? Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand that. Like, that, that state of mind. You know, it's, um... There's a little thing where you get a, a hypnagogic jerk, which is... 
kind of like the most unexplainable things in in life, I think, and in, in the field of psychology, where while you're in that state, your body twitches because it believes that it's in. It believes that you're falling. Like your body is trained into believing that you're falling, so your body twitches. And I don't know if you guys know. But everyone is born with the innate fear of falling. Like, everyone's born with it. And, I mean, I know there are a lot of people that probably want to argue with me about this. But just save yourself some headache. Don't even argue with me about this. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Been studying this for a while. Just I, I just hate when people try to argue for the sake of argument. It's like everyone wants to test their knowledge against me. I don't know why me. What Do they think I'm smart? Am I? Do they want to... To be smarter than me, do they think I'm stupid and just want to prove how smart they are? Like, I don't know why people like to argue with me. Like, what I say makes sense. I'm using the voice of reason. So just, just take it from me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they always want to fucking argue about something. So, anyway, hypnagogic jerk. Pretty much everyone is born, I don't care who you are, everyone is born with the innate fear of falling. Maybe not the fear of heights, because I, before I used to think it was the fear of heights, I put more thought into it, and I realized it's the fear of falling that people are afraid of, which leads to a fear of height. Because even children, they show that off as a, as a reflex, as an impulsive reaction. Like, you ever notice when you hold up a child and it puts its arm up in the air? That's, uh, that's their reaction, their impulsive reaction to... It's pretty much their way of communicating. Don't drop me, motherfucker, because I'm in the air. You know that's that's a normal reaction for children. And everyone everyone was, is born with it. There are different types of impulses that children are born with that are natural. You know, it's even though children don't know how to speak when they are born, their body does know how to communicate, and that's one one form that they communicate with impulses and reactions. So. That's, that's sort of like what I'm talking about. Hypnotic, hypnot, hypnogic, hypnagogic jerk, hypnagogic jerk. Jeez, I can't speak today. It is pretty much that same that same thing. You, your body reacts to a fear of falling, so your body jerks to compensate, like you know, to 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 readjust itself so that you're not falling, and that sort of wakes you up from your from your drowsy arousal state. And kind of wakes you up. And I don't know if you guys notice that. I mean, it's completely natural. I, it happens to everyone. You may not remember it during your sleep. You may not know it, but it does happen. And it happens quite often, commonly too, actually. More so on you know different people. Some people experience it less. Some experience it more. But I notice that when I've you know the more the older I get, the more I experience it. And I don't, I don't know what causes that. That's something that actually, actually I don't know. It's one of the most mysterious parts of you know the psychology field that I'm studying. But it's one of the most enigmatic things I think in all of life, really, that, that we can't figure these things out. But it happens to us, and it's so strange. So where was I going with this point? I don't even know why I brought this up in the first. Place. All right, <laughs> I remember now because oh well, my memory's getting better. <laughs> Because, yeah, that thing was headed for me, that creature, when I was checking out the chest, and I was really, I was drowsy at that point. I literally had fallen asleep right there. And then I, I got a jerk, that's what woke me up. And why am I running around in circles? <laughs> Going counterclockwise for whatever reason. But, yeah, I remember I had, I think it's because I really like that little square area. It's like the only square area like that in the game, which is cool, and I kind of admire it. But yeah, that thing had woken me up, that trigger, there's a, it's always a trigger to something that wakes you up and I love this little rectangle right here, it's a long rectangle, but yeah, it's always something that wakes you up, there's some kind of trigger, a connection, that guy is not going to catch me, <laughs> and that was it, which is awesome, because I would have gotten into a battle, I could have actually lost that right there, that could have been my end, you know what I mean? That could have been the end of this, you know, recording session, which I might still, I don't know, okay, I don't know if I would have continued uh, recording that at that point, maybe I would have scrapped this since there was, there would have been no commentary, 
but then at the same time you want to have seen all this so I'm not sure uh, I guess I was looking for that creature the the little parrot right? or parakeet and I didn't see it so oh god oh, I thought I was gonna edit that part what was I doing there? I don't remember Wow, you see how delayed my reaction time is right there? I didn't see it until it disappeared. That's funny. That's how delayed my reaction time was. Wow. I must have been really tired. Yeah, I didn't know how tired I was until, like, I knew how tired I was, but I didn't really know until just now how tired I was to how delayed my reaction time was. Really, I had really impaired vision. I, I guess I still do right now, even at this moment, but... What was my original point? Oh, right, the emotion. Damn, my memory is really getting better. <laughs> the emotion that I felt during 4, 23, 24, or maybe it's up to 25. I'm not exactly sure. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking that when I get to the top floor, I might skip to go to the next, or sorry, excuse me, to the previous town. God, man. Gather yourself, please. Go to the previous. Did you, did you really just said it again? I didn't mean to say that, folks. I would say go to town to sell my appraisal items that I've collected. There we go. There we go. We're in 23. F. No, it didn't change. Okay, so it must be 24F, I think. Mm. Okay, no, that's alright. <clears throat> I'm almost tempted to speed these episodes up. You know, it, it's funny, I never, <laughs> I never thought of that until now. I could have sped all of these things up, but I didn't. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not doing these commentaries over again. I'm sorry. If this could have gone well, this could have this could have gone better, sped up, skipped uh, the battles and all that, but then you wouldn't be able to hear the impressive music and the lullaby of this great part, this great dungeon. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep these as is. I know it's gonna be long, but hey, these are the final episodes of this Let's Play, so I'm trying to make them count. And these are gonna be long. Again, I cannot apologize enough. I'm not trying to upload long videos, okay? The only time I like, I even like and accept uploading long videos are during endings of a game and, and or, however you want to look at it, Xenoblade Chronicle, that Let's Play, which I need to. I really need to record that, and I think I will do it this weekend since I have so much free time, classes, and uh, stuff. So yeah, I will record Xenoblade play tomorrow once I get like maybe 17 hours of sleep today. <laughs> Just playing, but yeah, once I wake up again, I'll, I'll record some Xenoblade. I know Nate wanted to record Fire Emblem with me, but unfortunately I won't be able to. Sorry, Nate. Uh, maybe. Maybe after I finish classes for good. And you know, I need to conserve gas, that's pretty much what it is. I don't have money right now. I'm actually poor, but that's enough of that. I don't tell people my problems. I'm not the type of guy who makes everything a sob story. I don't like drama, right? So that's something that pisses me off. I don't like people worrying about me. I don't like people asking about my situations. I don't like telling about my situations, all right? That's not who I am. I don't like drama. I don't like people pretending to do whatever for drama. I hate fakers. I hate players. I hate all those type of people. They they're not cool. You know what I'm saying? They're they're bad influences. People that always talk about their problem, trying to get support of others. They're 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 nothing but bitches. Nothing but bitches. Only women do that. All right. I'm calling out people who do that shit because that pisses me off. See, anger bandana. Yeah, dude. That's what I have on right now. I'm angry at that shit. That pisses me off more than anything. Right, just people are fake. Sheesh. Anyway. So, that emotion that I had. Still trying to describe it. Like, I really am still trying to describe this emotion. I'm trying to find the words. I'm trying to put it together. I'm trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together, you know? I'm trying to figure this out. Do I, oh, crap. I need a... I need to edit this part. Oh crap. Alright, so we're back and you must go to what I'm going to do. Alright, it's not the point of let's play to experience something with the commentator, experience a, a story. Oh 
1.5 times. <laughs> Yo, really? I need to figure out this emotion thing, man. Oh my god. So, yeah, I got this smart water right here. Oh, wait, it's done. I finished it. Never mind. I was gonna ask you to drink it. It's gonna drink nothing but emptiness. I was actually gonna drink the empty air from the smart water. Knowing me, if I actually did drink it, I would've believed that I drank something, I would've been like, yo, this water's good. This water is godlike. Smart water's not that great anyway, it just pretty, pretty much tastes like Aquafina, except less tasty. That's, that's what I think. Fiji water is good though. But it's not better than the Dominican Agua. Alright. That water is so pure, man, you'll be sent to heaven. Like, I swear, I swear, man. Just get that, get that nice refrigerated pouch water. It comes in a little pouch, a a a, a, a transparent a pouch. You can see all the content. Nothing but purity at its finest. Prehistoric brooch. You better get that, John May. But yeah, nothing but purity. You just see it. It just tastes godlike. Like, there's nothing that compares to the water, of the tropical water, the purest of waters. Like, man, nothing compares to that. I'm sure some of you islanders will agree with me. Some of you from the other worlds. A strange light. I saw that at the beginning of this episode. I think it was the first battle. I actually. Oh my god. Guys, changing strange lights. What the heck is this? But yeah, that water's too good, man. Yeah, shout out to the Dominican Republic for tasty, tasty waters. If anyone wants to go check, oh, I saw some Triforces. But why did Chain's icon disappear right there? It's strange. Whatever. That's the second time I've seen that happen in the, in the entire recording session. I think it's the second time. No, it's the second time. So. You guys really should travel to the Dominican Republic. Good place, good place. Kind of dangerous now, but water's still good. If you want to try that, so, I mean, not a bad idea. If I was used. Oh god, I guess I gotta fight both of these these, these Hancocks. Ah, ah. Still no luck with that emotion. See, like, I was I'm just kind of half tempted to not put counter in that part. I think I mentioned that already. So that, because the music, and music, it's perfect. Music is absolutely, I'm going around in circles. What is the nerd going around here? Alright, I've explained both those things. I thought it's uh, the music was perfect, and it fit that particular moment, where you, where you'll see what I'm talking about. And I'm almost tempted I'll put any commentary on it so you can sort of experience that raw emotion. Like, I feel like I would ruin it with my commentary, just how it would feel like. If if, if I'm silent, alright, and I raise the volume up of the video here, just know that that's the part I'm talking about. And then, of course, the floor afterwards, but I'll be talking about that floor because the boss is on that floor. Right? But you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, I don't think I do fight the boss there because I go back to town. Yeah, I'm also losing that lag. Yep. I go back to town so that I can get some more money, upgrade my stuff, you know, sell all the appraisal items that I've gotten. Science fiction novel and adult books. I don't see how I'm supposed to get rid of an item here. What am I even doing? Oh, this might take another year or two. Should I skip this part? I guess I'm just trying to sort of put things together, see what I'm missing, see what I can, see what I can put, or what, because I think I have enough TP to unlock some moves. Honestly, if you ask me, it's just a waste of time. What the heck am I doing? Or am I getting prepared for the battle that's coming up? 
What the heck am I doing? Okay, I'm, now I'm genuinely interested in what the heck I'm doing. Am I trying to give me an attack booster? Okay, I gave me a defense booster. But I think I really like that attack a lot more. There we go, that should be good. Oh wait, I don't Oh. You're aft. Oh no. Yeah, we don't need to sell them. We already have one in storage. So that's cool. We can sell it, but honestly, why keep a shell gun when you can make room for another appraisal item? That's the way I always thought of it. But at the same time, I shouldn't have gotten rid of it so hastily. I should have kept it and see if I did get another appraisal item. Because then I could get rid of that item and end up picking up some kind of like black ass Nolan. Who needs that? I love the way that freaking creature was doing that thing. <laughs> Looks like a derp, man. I don't I don't agree with that move. I just should have done a live blade. See I wasn't thinking right here. I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking right right now. But, oh no. Yeah, you're right. Whoever just thought the ladder, you're right. Because huh, honestly, I remember now why I was doing that. Wow, you tell me I was more awake back then than I am now? So now I remember why I was doing that. So I can give chain more more TP, that's the reason for me checking all those things so I could see what else I could unlock. Ah, oh, man, I'm so stupid. I can't believe I just figured that out now. It was quite obvious. You can take this if you want to. I hope I don't take this. I hope I don't take this because I'm right next to the freaking. No, 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 no. I don't know why. Why the heck did I find this guy? Yo, what the heck? Am I like retarded, man? I, I, I must be retarded. I must be retarded. That is my final conclusion. Oh crap, I'm gonna try to edit this out. Alright, so... I mean, I didn't say we're back, but pretty much I'm all about now. Man, lily has been getting critical more than anyone. She's got the highest luck, right? The heck is this all about? Hearted. And why the heck is Linear so on TP? That's what I don't get. Linear has such whack TP rate. Even Chain beats Linear in TP. That's freaking pathetic. And Mag is naturally as high TP for whatever reason. You would think Chain would need that with all her freaking healing and support she does. No. They give it to Mag mostly because he's the one doing most of the attacks. I understand that, but I mean, come on. Keep it balanced. Lena really needs more TP than Mag does. Like, what the heck is that all about? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, get, you know who doesn't need a lot of TP? Freaking Chain. I mean, of course, how else is she gonna do damage while her TP? But, if you play Chain, you know that the only reason you use her is for that... Whatever... Is it Flat Tone? It's Flat Shot. And then there's the other one where she sacrifices all of her TP. I think it's called. Uh, I actually don't care about the name right now, but yeah, it's pretty much you shoot all all out attack. It's like you give out all your TP, sorry FP, to make this attack like extremely powerful. You blast your opponent. You blast them. Damn man. Where the heck am I going? So I'm really just gonna go. Okay, thank God I went to the next floor. I would have really strangled my past self. <laughs> Even though I can't really call that a past self, could I? Well, technically it's not incorrect. I, that is a past self. It's a past version of me. It's a past self. Oh my God. That is some godlike stuff. I want it. I'm thinking about actually, and now I'm thinking, I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna put that thing in my freaking inventory. What's in your inventory, you doofus? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put out one of my characters, but who? <sighs> Maybe I should put it on peppers. Pepper spray. Whoa, man. 
That was a close one. Man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Whoa. I didn't even see that. Alright, so. What else are we going to talk about now? I was going to talk about... Yeah, I think I already mentioned it, but I was going to apologize for the long, long episodes. You know, I don't like doing it for Xenoblade, and also for just ending to video games in general. Like, long endings. Well-deserved endings that should not be split up, because I see sometimes on YouTube. And it's not their fault, because YouTube at the time had the 10 limit. 10 minute limit and the 15 minute limit just like now. So what are they supposed to do, you know? It's like we have no choice but to split it. But if I have the capacity to upload as much as I need to, like little time-wise, then why don't I just take advantage of it? Why am I hitting every single different character? Are you are you like dumb and wow, then you're just hitting 800. She hit just as much as Chain did. Well, granted that one creature's in the back row, but still, Chain, step your game up. I think Lillian might have hit more than you. It's cool, but in any case, what was I saying? Something about, something about time limit, and that's why YouTube, YouTube, yeah, so YouTube. Can upload for a while, so that means that I can upload ending videos. That was yeah, if like an ending to a game is like 30 minutes or whatever, I'm gonna t I better believe I'm gonna take those 30 minutes. See, so, you know, what I might do is I might anticipate it, like hype it up, hype up the ending with it, the previous video, save at the last save point or something, then final battle, go on with it. That's kind of like what I did with Valkyrie Profile, except I did a really poor job at it and ending. I think I should have saved beforehand. I, I did, but... You know what? Oh, wow. Good, good block chain. Dude, Linear is like literally hitting 800. That's, that's crazy. She's missing a lot too, so that weapon sucks. But she, she almost right there with Mag. She already beat Chain in terms of that. It's crazy. Chain, <laughs> come on. Let me check out what part of the video are we up to. This is a long recording session, man. It's never again. Never again. That was the only time I could have recorded too, which is the which is the sad part. That's the that's the real sad part of it all. I couldn't save this for another day. I had to do it that day. It's the only time I could have recorded for like that entire time period. This just sucks, man. It really does. You, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. Man, let's continue. See, the reason why this takes forever, this is the reason why it's taking a long time, is simply because of the paths. Like, you can clearly see how wide and long this dungeon is, especially since I've been checking every single nook and crack, cracking, creaking, cracking, creaking, cracking, cranny, cracking. You know what I mean? Every nook and cranny, nook, crook, cranny. You know, I'm just not gonna say that ever again to avoid confusion to my own self from now on. And of course, this is where I almost die. I remember this battle. I. Oh no 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 no! no this is not it. Obviously not because I didn't get ambushed. Okay, this is not what happened. Okay, that password. So I can now learn Super Doctor M. Awesome. I need to let someone die. Then. <laughs> or I could use it on off screen. Hmm. What will I do? Knowing me, I either will let someone die, or I will use a different move, learn a different move, wait until like the boss 
Whoa, whoa. This guy's getting a little low on health there. Interesting. I'm kind of... I'm kind of curious to see my own style of play, like how I'm handling this. Oh no. Oh, it's targeting me. Ah, loser. Strange, why haven't I healed Mag yet? Where's my plan? Where's my plan of attack? Ouch! What am I even trying to do? These guys are dead. No doubt about it. Major first aid for man. Okay. I was kind of risking it then. Trying to recover some TP, I FP, I believe. I believe that's what I was trying to do. That's unbelievable. I just finished healing him. I see. I'm trying to get Chain to die. And recover some FP for Lenny. Yeah, he's going after us for whatever reason. Hmm. What the? I just healed this guy, right? What the heck? That is unbelievable. Recover some attack. There you go. Some damage in. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much saying either one of these chicks can die. Don't hear yourself, please. Don't be an idiot, thank you. Say, so don't be a freaking idiot. Yeah, I have to let one of these two die. Wow, this guy's smart. <laughs> you know, defending is not such a great idea, but what can you do? You take less damage, which is not what I want. I actually don't want to defend, but not really much you could do. I guess I could have moved, but it's just. I feel like it's not. Oh no. Yep, I remember that. I accidentally killed it. And get this probably stupid old me didn't heal. I was like, okay, I'm gonna continue because I'm not gonna get into another battle. Never mind what I said. I guess I don't know myself very well. Shoot, man. Perfect. What do I need is now chain to die. I'm kind of interested in my tactics now. I'm sorry, I, I would normally be counting over something else, but it's just kind of getting interesting because these are like the harder parts. I'm pretty much handicapping myself because, as you know. Story of touch because, I, as you know, I am trying to use that one move. Mag Launch is already maxed out, he's got like, quadruple nines for his TP count, and it doesn't go any higher than that. So now that it's completely maxed out, no, not enough but to use it. Once you've got everything, then once it's maxed out, it's maxed out, you know. Sometimes I think my characters are terrible. I should be up for chain. There you go. I should be up for her too. With more defense than I thought. I forgot I equipped her with those things. Perfect. Keep in the back, girl. It's good. A wench belongs in the back. Because now we have the means to recover chain and give him an air raid. Yes. Perfect. I love it when things work out, actually. Man, I couldn't read how much TP that cost. Because my eyes can't really see. Okay, I'm explaining to you what I can see really. 
What do I see? I see a purple blob thing, right? But I can't really make out what it is. I already know what it is, you know, because I played the game. I know exactly what creature it is, just I can't see it. And I know that there are three parrot things, because you can't really mistake those. And this guy's nearly dead. Perfect. Let's to kill them all. And if it doesn't kill them all, it'll probably leave a little perk thing off. But well, I'm sure it'll kill them all. Oh crap, level 50. This, this is like midlife crisis right here. Everyone's level 50 now, except for Linear. Ah, oh, that felt nice. Nice cracks over the neck. I wonder if everyone knows, but I'm addicted to cracking my neck like a fiend, man, like a fiend. Because that's good enough for now, when we so, uh, I can use hand parts to, I mean, heal parts to heal myself up. Next time we get into a fight. And this is a 24th floor, so I guess I was wrong about it being 23, 24 for the final, which it. It's funny how I realize this now. Now that we've already done all this and we've been 24 for a while. And I just now realized that this is not the floor I was referring to, but you'll see it. You will know you will know it when you see it. And I think it's either 25, 26, which I'm 80% positive on that, or it's 26, 27, which I'm 99.9% .9 positive on that. Yeah, I can choose two. That's not cheating. So either way, I'm gonna be right. Unless it's okay. That's twice my damn alarm interrupted me while I was really commentating on this thing. Both times, always interrupted. That's stupid. Anyway, there's. I, I lost my train of thought. I didn't have one to begin with. Come on, man. That's, that's rude. I'm talking. What was I saying? Oh no! I can't remember what I was saying. Charge pawns. What was I saying, man? Oh yeah. So, God, I remember. So it was either 20. I mean, if, unless it was t uh, 27, 28, which I right now currently have zero percent chance of predicting that. Like, well, zero percent. You know, like assurance or whatever. Zero percent. So if, if it ends up being that, I'm gonna be really pissed. See, so it's not technically cheating, even though I have 100 percent guarantee of getting right. If it's any of those two that I mentioned, it's by my percentage that I said that I claimed. It will still mean that I'm 100 percent right. But at the same time, that would no, that wouldn't mean that I'm 100% wrong either. Because even though I made two choices, I said or, so that counts as two selections, not and. If I had said 26 and 27 and 25 and 26, then that would mean I am wrong 100%. Since I said or. I'm 100% right if it's either of those two, and not 100% wrong, even if the other one is, is not it. So, ha! Ha ha! I'm the king! <laughs> Yo, can you kill this guy, man? You've been fighting this guy for like two and a half hours, man. We're almost done with commentary and everything. Jeez. Oh, I just realized we're almost done with commentary. Please, just a little bit more, man. Just, just, just a little bit more. Do I even go back to town? I hope I don't, man. Just fight this boss right so we can finish the commentary. Not, I'm not that I'm anticipating. Actually, I am. It's, it's not that I don't want to commentate. It's just, yo, I need to get some sleep. You don't understand. I could technically do this later. In fact, I could have done this later. But now it's such a great time. Alright, and here, here's, here's the thing about this guy. If you stay in this location, and don't get close to him, he will stay in warped here. He will stay and be warped here. Something I figured out at the spur of the moment. 
And now you can go and kick his butt. Nice little hop there. Let's see if you get close to him. He has, there's a chance that you'll warp to somewhere else, a new region. You could stay in, in the place that you're in, like the little boxed area that you're in, or you could travel to a new one. Spot, he'll disappear randomly, even if he's in the same layout. So, what you do is you pretty much have to play the waiting game for him until he, he spreads his legs, he starts stretching or whatever. So then you, get, you catch him there. It gives some experience, you know what I'm saying? For such an easy kill, it gives a lot of experience. This is the coolest thing, man. Oh, well, it's not 25, 26. But boy, I only have one more shot for 100%. Uh, com not completion rate. So let's say completion rate. No, for 100% correct rate, I guess. 100%. Oh no! That kind of woke me up. Yeah. I don't know. I, I was kind of getting up from my seat. Like, I was I was positioning myself to sit up right. Even though right now I'm slouching again. But. <laughs> Kinda of set up for nothing, but this is what almost killed me, and I don't think you see it. That is a crap ton of damage. I'm 830 for a slash to the fa for a stab to the face. This guy pretty much gouged out my eyes, and disgusting. But I'm sure it will hurt that much in real life. It will hurt for 870. Actually, I think it will kill you. Forget 870. It will do like the rest of that 2,449. Dude, kill, man. Looks like... Ugh. I feel like there's something I'm missing, something I haven't mentioned in regards to the game's mechanic, but what is it? It's alright. I'm sure if someone has a question, I'll answer. And... What did I say before that? Okay, now I know I'm not gonna remember this. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> the, the, the fact that we got ambushed and almost killed us. Okay, no, I, I, knew, I, I knew I wasn't gonna remember. I remember only half of it. I remember the topic, but I don't remember where I was going with it. Freak, it was a good point too. Now, can't cry with spilled milk, right? Not like you're Patrick. Where your mind's an enigma, and the milk falls down. What are you even seeing? Did you see that your man there got 1778 constitution, man? Right? Just chill the heck out. Smack some niggas with the frying pan. And give them a little bit of sure you can. Ouch! Dude, I can't even describe to you how evil that is. Enemies here are so cheap. Make you want to punch a baby, man. It's crazy. Of course, the exit is. This is like the same exact layout as when you go. Oh. You see? You didn't even, oh! I remember my point now. Yes! Thank you for showing me that. That's one that I didn't even see. That's what it was. That's the trigger. Yes. So, when we got ambushed, I don't know if we were able to see that. Like, I don't know if it even showed up on screen. I'm about to watch over it after I finish the commentary. What part was this? this is 2 hours and 45 minutes into this current recording. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna remember this little time right here. And then, I will... Uh, after this 2 hours and 45 minutes, I will go back maybe 3 or 4 minutes. <sighs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna remember that. But yeah, remember that I was slouching or whatever, sitting up so that I can start slouching again. And I didn't actually see if that was an invisible trap or not. Because those things do come up. You do get invisible traps. And sometimes you're rewarded for it. Like that one time that Chain got one defense, which is beautiful. But there are times, like the one that just passed, or possibly, potentially just passed, if it was invisible, that it does not reward you and you end up getting bruised, you know, beaded, battered, and bruised. Man, this is crazy, man. This is Triple H here.
I should really use that Mokana on pool. I'm not fighting that bear. I don't think I, I you know, at this point, I didn't want to risk any of Waddle's calls. I didn't want to risk any actual battles. Because I knew I was closing in on the top floor. At this point, I was like, the top floor must be the next floor. Because, oh god. Because no dungeon can be this one. This is. This is outrageous, dude. Man. Wow. The more I'm trying to commentate through this, the more. God, my eyes. Alright, at this point, my eyes are like virtually closed. Virtual. It's crazy, man. Well, one of my eyes is. One of my eyes is not open, and it's not, it's not gonna open for another a, a few hours, maybe eight hours. It's not gonna open, I guarantee you that. And this one eye, Malafai, is struggling to stay open. For some reason, my mouth does not tire. Oh no. Oh crap. It said that Vegas stopped working. Let me. Technical errors here. Technical errors, no minor setback, we'll just reload it back here. I will insert freeze frame or something, not sure what I'm gonna do. What the heck, man? Anyway, 2.48, 2 hours 48 minutes, where is the... I, I noticed the time right but wow. Man, I am clutch, I noticed the time right before it actually did that. What part were we up to? Oh my god. 248 was something, it was 248 was something, it was 248 was something. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna pull, go back to where I got hit with the strange light. Yep. And bam, she gets hit, I think that's where it happened. Yeah, anyway. My eye is still not open by the way. I thought it was gonna be open because of that, but it's not. My left eye is like struggling so dearly to to catch the hidden details of the game. It's in my mouth, so for whatever reason, it's not tired. Like, I'm tired of talking, yes I am. I'm tired of yawning. Yeah. Sorry about making you yawn, I'm sorry I'll make you more tired, but hey man, this is, it has to be done. It has to be done. 646, that's my telephone area code. That's a New York, Manhattan area code. <laughs> but yeah. Sick. I'm trying to remember what I was thinking of before. Oh, next floor. Let's see if 26 or 7 is it. Yes! It is!
Alright, and we are at the last floor. You see what I mean? Like, I don't know if you felt what I felt. I don't know if you felt anything at all. I'm actually glad that this thing saved. But the emotion within me is still strong every time that I experience that. Sorry, I kind of dozed off a few times there. You saw that. Like, the, immediately after I had, had <laughs> arrived at the floor, final floor, I was like, yes, I'm just going to go to sleep. And try to wake up a couple of times. And here is the what I consider the final boss. And this is my favorite boss of all time. Of any game that I've ever played. It's this boss right here. Okay. This guy is actually weak against lightning. Or, or is it rocks? No, he's definitely weak against lightning attacks. That's why I gave everyone lightning stuff. Alright, then... Wow, it's just... I still... Look at the area you fight in. You're in space or something. You're surrounded by this, these stained glass gates and... And it's this strange creature. I've always thought of a story for it. I just... I don't know what kind of emotion this is. Especially climbing up this entire thing, seeing the last floor, and seeing this boss. Like, it... Honestly, the way I remember this boss, he was a lot taller than this. Like, this is... This is how grand I thought of this boss. Like, he was so tall. And just majestic. You know what I mean? And when you're older... Like, when I grew older and I, I played this boss again, after so many years of not seeing this boss, I was so anticipating this. I was like, I remember this boss. I remember him. You know, he, this is not that. I remember this amazing thing. And this move hurts a lot. Yeah, this guy has a move. The reason... God, wow. <laughs> the reason I moved everyone to, like, the middle row is because he has a move that will attack the back row. You don't want to be in the back row. You're gonna constantly push your people back. And it's gonna attack with these crazy thunderbolt moves. So that's kind of the reason I kept everyone in the middle. You could technically keep everyone in the front row, but he has this one move, it's like a corkscrew thing or a cog move or something where it literally hurts the person in the front row the most. So I figured Mag would be the only one who should be in the front anyway. I don't know how much HP this guy has. Sometimes he cheats. So, not to be careful. The less you want to have all your people alive, because the less people you have, the faster this opponent is. That's sort of like his thing. So, if you don't, if like, let's say Chain died right now, let's say she died for whatever reason, then you'll pretty much be screwed. This, this guy will go so quickly. And having hand parts, or move parts actually, move parts what it's called, during this section, is actually not a bad idea. It actually is encouraged, I would encourage having move parts, but since I fought this boss so many, so many, many times, and look at that, 3,000 damage, beautiful damage. Since I move, since I definitely fought this boss so many different times, it's not something that I really worry about. Now, I think I might kill this guy before. Yes, okay. Here's the thing. Look at this. He's already very, very quick. He shouldn't have gone twice there. This will kill her. It will kill anyone in your party, which is why you don't want to keep anyone in the back row. Ah, this move right here. I actually was afraid I was going to die. But if I was in the front row, this would have done tremendous damage. And I mean tremendous. And look, we are already almost dead. Imagine if we were in the front row. We would have been dead so chain right now is gonna hit him with some good strength because i'm not sure this move off yet it's the same exact animation as the other ones too much rape it's beautiful now this is this is where the emotion comes seeing this thing's death is something i never expected stayed with me throughout all of my years the way it dies is just something a marvel, something to... I can't explain it. Like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so... It's so abstract and surreal. Like, I can't explain it. And I can't understand it. And I, I can't explain the emotion that this instills in me. I 
really can't. But hopefully you felt something. Like I've always wanted someone to connect with me with this. I've always felt alone with this game and no one to share with, no one to understand the way I feel about it. More 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 likely than not, I'm looking for someone to t tell me what this feeling is. I don't know what it is. It's, it's an emotion I've never experienced. Stupid oh boy, Mag. Oh yes. Yeah, we're we're so modest. <laughs> I can actually read again. You know, I th I didn't think my my right eye would open again, but it's actually open now because of that boss. It's kind of strange. Very good. And it's about fifty thousand. Of course, we get that much. And I could have done it without chain, but I thought this is the last time we be going to the dungeon and showing it off. I'd rather give chain some money. We could have kept nearly all the money and paid off the 20,000 debt a lot sooner, but here's what you could do at this point, right? Because, now that we finished all the dungeons, yeah, where's this drama thing? Yeah, okay, so we can go to any dungeon we want, go there as many times as we want, even though we can't get any of the treasures again, the ones that give us like you know, $50,000, for example, those treasures are already We've already, you know, we, we've gotten them already, we've discovered them, we've excavated already. But what you could do is not have we appraised like a million things, uh, we can, sorry I'm just trying to read this, we can also uh, keep going back for appraisal stuff. That's sort of how you're supposed to make money to pay back the debt. The first debt and the second one, sort of. You're supposed to go back and keep collecting appraisal items so you can say wow that was a nice hot Michael Jordan Air Jordan's over here yeah Linear of course she's over here praying or something no she's just waiting on her bed we could take her but we're not we don't need to take her this is kind of like where the game tells you you know if you're doing a, a mag solo run which you definitely could do all the, all it takes is that your opponents are sorry your party members are dead the entire time if you're doing a mag solo run this, you'll be happy to know that you can actually continue doing the max solo run from this point on. You don't even have to take anyone. Linear won't be coming with you. And, you know, those, the only parts you really have to worry about when doing the solo runs, like for Mag, is that Linear is with you. And of course, when she gets captured throughout the story, that's not really an issue because no one, you don't have to bring anyone with you. And I, I don't remember if you do, but even if you're required to bring someone, you can have them die and then do the rest of everything by yourself. But at this point, you don't have to recruit anyone. And Linear is no longer mandatory for your party every time that you walk around the town when she's around. Because now we've been in the dungeons, we can do anything you want, anything we want. I don't know why I said you, but you can literally do anything you want. and. I'm just gonna pick my party, which is, I, I would say, my favorite party. Popularity contest? It's, it's, wow, it's retarded. Talk to Tit I mean, Jugs, Miss Jugs. Yep, yep. She's still with that naive attitude that most women seem to have. And yeah, most women are naive. I mean, it's not really a big deal. That's sort of why we love them, you know? Well, not really. I've grown a real dislike for women recently. Because every time I talk to them, they think I'm hitting on them. And sometimes I just want to be friends. It's sort of like Exodus mentioned this too. And I'm like, yo, man, I definitely know what you're talking about, bro. Because the same thing happens to me. I talk to them, they think I'm hitting on them. It's like... Listen, you self-important bitch, okay? First of all, I flirt with a lot of women. I'm a naturally flirtatious guy. I doesn't mean I like you. I like all women, okay? But, if I really like you, you have to be my type. See, I, and I say this all the time. I don't know, like, I just like making women feel special. Sometimes I, I, I say most of the time, I don't mean it when I say, Oh man, I really, really like you. This is not... I'm only trying to make them feel better, especially for those really down depressive chicks that for some reason have low self-esteem and they might be mildly attractive and then 
they just have low self esteem. So you try to do something to raise them up, and it's like they don't appreciate it. So I'm like, oh, fuck you. And then the ones that you don't tell anything to, they think you're hitting on them, and you're like, what the fuck? This is a backwards world we're living in. Like, yo, know, man. Like, what happened when freaking women were actually decent, you know? Back in the day when they used to talk to us, not mouth off about garbage. We used to have a nice partnership, you know, we used to, you know, someone used to hunt, someone used to cook and take care of things. Beautiful partnership, we all live, we all survive. Now things are all complicated, man, what the heck happened to that? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of moving back to one of those village areas. Like, I grew up in a village, I was born in a village, okay? I'll die in a village. I freaking... That's sort of like, so one of my favorite things, you know, people talk about, oh, there's some third world countries out there, bitch, you don't know shit. So these people live happy, alright? I, I live much happier in my third world country than I did, than I do live here in America, right? Sure, I can realize my dream, but I would have lived an even happier life dreaming to the stars, okay? I don't know about you, but honestly, when you, when you think of things like, what America could be, you actually have high hopes and it makes you work harder. You know what I'm saying? It gives you something to live for. And dreams and aspirations are a beautiful thing, especially when you never reach them. So you live a happy life, fulfilled life. And you always think, hmm, I wonder what life could have been if I lived over there. You know, not knowing that life would have been hell anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like that nice way of thinking where you're always positive, you always want to do your best. That's the best way to live, honestly. And, you know, I would have lived a much happier life back in the, in the old world country. Don't care if I uh, would have had an infection, any, any of that, all that stuff can happen. But it can happen anyway, you know what I'm saying? But at least it would have been happier. So, I, I love when people are so stupid and ignorant of the matter. You know, I grew up in a third world country, so I know this, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's not the same for every place, but generally, most people that live like that have a tight sense of community and love and compassion. They all are very integrated and woven together like threads, you know, and everyone is so close. Because the village, I mean, usually, usually the villages are small, like a hamlet, and we're all very close and we all know each other, we all watch each other's back. Alright, so, it's not the same like in the city where no one, this is like, a, living here in America is like a very strange, strange ad adaptation, I still haven't adapted yet because people don't trust each other and I'm very trusting naturally, and people are like, why do you trust blah blah blah, I mean, of course I don't trust people with money, but I will never trust anyone, not even my mom with money, my mom's the closest person that I would trust with money, but not even, not even there. You know what I'm saying? Money is the only thing that I don't trust people with. Like, I can't give someone my money. I can't let someone borrow money. It's just something I can't trust them with. But trusting people with different, uh, like, other things and trusting them for them being humans, that's something that I can do. And I never understood why people don't trust each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they did trust each other, you know, they wouldn't, we wouldn't be as separated or segregated. That's actually, that's actually segregation, really. It's not even separation, it's segregation. People don't trust each other, but anyway, it's sort of like the end of this video. I wish people would trust themselves more and others, so I guess I'm gonna stop the video here. Thankfully, it's the end of the recording. Thank you for listening to my weirdness, and I'll see you next time. Peace out and keep it styling, y'all.